God calls us to love him with all of our minds and all of our hearts. And as our next story demonstrates, this has more to do with dedication than education. Pastor Stephen Anderson is well on his way to memorizing the entire Bible. It's amazing. God, who at sundry times and in divers' manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of the glory Pastor Steve of Anderson of Tempe, Arizona, is a man on a mission. Over the past two years, Pastor Steve has committed over 100 chapters of the Bible to memory. Sometimes we, we hear so much about the Bible and so many stories about the Bible, but we've lost an appreciation, it seems, for the very words of the Bible, such beautiful words that they are. My goal right now is to memorize the entire New Testament. So far, I'm more than a third done with that goal. And as far as I know, um, no one has ever memorized the entire Bible. That's a goal that I'd like to achieve in my lifetime. I think I could do it within the next 20 years easily. To that end, Pastor Steve has created a surprisingly simple yet effective system. Well, the method I use to memorize the Bible is actually one that I do while I'm performing my job or uh, other everyday tasks. I keep note cards in my shirt pocket and I pull them out throughout the day and just look at the first verse. I'll just memorize one small part of it, maybe five or six words, and I'll chant those words silently in my mind for about, say, five minutes. And then when I have an opportunity, maybe five minutes later, I'll pull out the card again and move on to the next phrase. At the end of the day, on a drive home, I can go through and put together the entire chapter. Recognizing the importance of retention, Pastor Steve was sure to incorporate exercise into his routine. What I do is I take the chapter that I finished yesterday and I quote it today and then every day for the next week. So I quote it daily for one week. Then after that, I quote it on a weekly basis for a month. So about four or five times I'll quote it weekly. And then after that, I quote it once a month forever. Uh, the Bible is God's expression to us. It's his communication to us. I want to think his thoughts after him. He has, yeah, he's written them down in a book for us. The reason why a lot of people don't memorize the Bible is because they have a defeatist attitude that says that they can't do it, that says that it's too difficult, maybe it's something that children work on, or something for a very educated person, when in reality it's something that anyone could, could do. In fact, I've seen all kinds of people from all different walks of life memorize very large sections of the Bible, young, old, uh, all different educational backgrounds. In fact, Pastor Steve recalls the story of a college-age congregation member who complained about his poor memory only to adopt Pastor Steve's method with astounding success. Excited, the young man called his mom. Early on he said, Mom, I memorized Proverbs 1 through 5. She thought he meant verses 1 through 5, and she was proud of him for that. And he said, no, Mom, you don't understand. I've learned chapters 1 through 5. And while Pastor Steve's dedication and discipline is an inspiration to believers across the world, his impact is felt most at home with his family. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, the words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity, vanity, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath the man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation, One generation passeth away, and, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also riseth, and the sun goeth down. And Pastor Steve has some advice for you at home. Well, I would, I would suggest to anyone that they start with a short chapter that could give them a little bit of instant gratification of completing that chapter and they could understand that it's something that they could do and then move on to maybe a small book in the New Testament and then, boy, the sky's the limit after that. Return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. 